when I was little, I would draw all the time. I mean, I, it, I just had the, the art in me to do something. Then I think the last week of high school, of my senior year, the art teacher brought in a, a potter's wheel and sat it on the table. And he said, here, I don't know how to do it. You just have fun with it. Well, we all just made messes. It was wonderful, <laughs> you know. And then I went on to college, and my parents thought I should be a secretary. And so I had to take all the secretarial. So they had an elective in pottery, the only thing I could get in without Art 101 and 102 and 103. I just loved the pottery, and I think it saved my sanity in college. Porcelain is pure silica. If you fire it as high as I do, it almost vitrifies. And before it melts, that's when you stop. You have to hit it up to a certain point. There's so many kinds of porcelain clays, you have to fit the clay to the glaze. If they don't fit, they'll craze, crack, bubble, do all kinds of terrible things. So once you get a clay you like that's easy to throw, then, then you have to either make glazes or fit your glazes on them and hope they work. I have a little file cabinet, a little recipe file cabinet that has all my glazes recipes in them. So when I finish and cut it off the wheel, it's probably a fifth of all the work. And um, then you've got four fifths left to do, trimming, uh, bisque firing, designing. Sometimes I design when it's just raw clay. I put a stain and I use scraffito. I carve through. And then after that you glaze fire and that takes about 10, 11 hours. And it takes another day to cool. So it's a two-week process if you keep after it, you know. <laughs>